Hello and welcome to Unscrew TV, New Zealand's most passionate internet wine show. And this is going to go out to you, hopefully, on the 10th of, uh, of November uh, for Rosé Revolution Day. And um, the 10th um, of November was, as you may recall, I don't know, that uh, a, f a friend of mine just lost his battle with cancer. And um, his birthday was on the 10th of um of November, so this is a little tribute to, to both him and also to Trish Barry, who's been working so hard and trying to get this project off the ground. This is the second year that uh, it's, it's run, and hopefully for many more. Um, so with that, I thought that the, this was quite fitting. Abby Sellers, um, Blushing Monk 2011 Rosé from Merlot and Malbec from the, the Bridge Par Red Metal Triangle kind of region of Hawke's Bay, which has been blessed with the climate that it's got and, um, and even more so with the wines that it's making right now. Abbey Cellar is one of those uh, small little boutique wineries that, uh, that New Zealand really needs and it's the backbone of the industry. Um, what you do get off the nose is that it, you can see the colour, it's quite extracted in colour. It's a dark, because it reminds me of uh, some of the southern French. You get this kind of like really Grenache almost character on the nose, strawberries, strawberries and cream. And you get a little raspberry action going there. Very, very, very fruity, but it's quite sweet. That was me, my only concern. You get the, the, the kind of blackberry, the raspberry, the strawberry, all those primary kind of red and kind of early black fruits at the front. It's quite, uh, it's got quite a lot of weight in the mouth. But then you get this kind of residual sugar character coming up at the back. It's quite long, but um, just a tad too sweet for me. But one of the things I do like about it, I like the styling, I like the label, uh, and their other wines because they they really focus on the on the black kind of grape varietals or the, the dark red grape varietals. They do um, um, Cabernets and Merlot, Malbec, and they they really focus on those Bordeaux blends. But um, yeah, not bad. 80, 86 points, just a tad, that tad too sweet. Had it finished off really kind of crisp and dry, it would have been ranking in the kind of late 80s, certainly early 90s, around that. But anyway, um, kind of rest in peace, Tony, I guess. And um, so this will be going out on what would be your birthday and, and I'll see you over in the UK shortly, okay?